based on the unrebutted testimony of the court enforcement officer and the, and the evidence presented, I do find that the violations still exist. I find in favor of the city. Um, property owner has until January 31st by which to resolve the violations. Should the violations not be resolved by the 31st, uh, there will be a daily fine amount of There are three cases, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. $150 each. Do you want to... Um call each case in um, so that it's recorded. I mean, she's saying three, all three of them. Do you want to call them each in so that you can get it on record? For Betty Works, item number 14, CEDSP 2016-0016. Item number 15, CEESP 2016-0035-437, sorry, Betty Works. And item number 16, CENUS 2016-00143, Betty Works. Item number 27, Officer Ernst Baptiste, Cort Cortez Relenos, case number CEFAW 2016002228. A chain link fence. That is damaged. Um, property was posted on December the 21st, and today I passed by, took pictures, still the same way. Okay. Um, tell me about notice for today's hearing. Was posted on December the twenty first, twenty sixteen, at ten fifty five. Okay, based on the unrebutted testimony of the court enforcement officer and the um, evidence presented, I find that the violations still exist. I hereby find in favor of the city. Property owners have until January thirty first by which to resolve the violation. Should the violation not be resolved by the abatement date, there will be a daily fine amount of $50. Item number 32, Officer Crystal Cordo, Deborah K. Massey, case number CEA, CEFAW 2016-00238. Crystal Cordo, City of North Miami Compliance Officer. Um, this property was cited on November 14th for a fence, a damaged wire fence, chain link fence. Um, as of today, the violation still stands. Um, property was posted for NTA on December 21st. And there's photos if you'd like to see. Yes, please. Based on the unrebutted testimony of the court enforcement officer and the evidence presented, I find that the violation just still exists. I hereby find in favor of the city. Property owners have until January 31st by which to resolve the violation. Um, should the violation not be resolved by the um, abatement date, there would be a daily fine amount of $50 thereafter. I <coughs> Item number 33, Officer Monaco Pedrick, customer Eden the Bresselaer, case number CEMHO 2016-00043.
City of North Miami Code Enforcement Officer Monica Frederick. This case is for a minimum housing openings violation for a door that was left off the hinges on the outside of the property. The violation was first observed August 30th, 2016. Um, there were mail certified notice December 22nd, 2016, and the property was posted for this hearing on the 27th of December, 2016, at 10.45 a.m. I have pictures to this one. Um, This violation still exists from from um, August. This is a recent photograph. Yes, that picture was taken today. Okay. All right. Based on the unrebutted testimony of the court enforcement officer and the evidence presented, I find that the violation does exist. I also find good notice, given proper notice, the owners have failed to appear. I hereby find in favor of the city and enter an adjudication property owners have until January 31st by which to resolve the violation. Should the violation not be resolved by the abatement date, there will be a daily fine amount of $100. Item number 35, Officer Shanna Sanders, Elizier Carolero, case number CEPFY2016-00298. Shanna Sanders, City of North Miami Coal Compliance Officer. This is a case for a uh, vehicle that's parked on the front lawn, it which originally cited um, April, April of 2016. Uh, I did a re-inspection on May 17th um, and filled it for the special magistrate. I am showing at that time our clerk, um, Crystal, asked um, that the case be um, tabled because they stated that they were in the process of pulling a permit. They have submitted an application, but you know, as of the day, no permit has been obtained. I went back to do a reinspection, um, you know, December, November. Um, as of today, the violation still remains. Um, they are still parking on the front lawn. No driveway permit has been obtained. Um, proper service has been um, given. The po property was posted on December 20th. I am showing that certified mailing was did out on the 22nd. I have pictures of the um, violation if you would like to see. Sure. I can understand why this matter was never adjudicated from April. When I failed it back in, um, it was either April or May, I don't know, you have the file now. Um, um, it was at that time both um, our code coordinator, you know, Pilar Diaz and Crystal at the time um, was our clerk. She They asked for it to be tabled because the property owner stated that they was pulling a permit, so we were, you know, were th or they were working with her um, at the time. But, you know, as of the day, as you see, nothing has still been obtained, so. All right. Based on the unrebutted testimony of the code enforcement officer and the evidence presented, I find that the violation still exists. I hereby find in favor of the city. I also find good notice, given proper notice, the owners have failed to appear. Um, I hereby find in favor of the city. Property owners have until January 31st by which to resolve the violation. Thereafter, there'll be a um, daily fine amount of $100 should the violation not be re um, resolved by the abatement date. Item number 57, Isaiah Formenta, Officer Shanna Sanders, case number CEBLD 2016-00003. Shanna Sanders, City of North Miami, Cloak Compliance Officer. This is a case for um, address numbers that need to be replaced on a commercial building. Um, this property um, was first cited December 5th, sent the notice of violation, reinspected December 25th, went back November 29th. It was filled for the December hearing, but as already stated, um, the December um, magistrate was canceled, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, so here we are presenting it today. As of the day, the address numbers still remain fuzzy and need to be replaced. I am showing 
proper service was given, the property was posted on the 21st of December, certified mailing was mailed out on the 22nd. I have photos of the violation if you would like to see. So it's not legible? No. Mm -hmm. All right. Based on the unrebutted testimony of the code enforcement officer and the evidence presented, I find that the violation does exist. I also find good notice, given proper notice, the owners have failed to appear. I hereby find in favor of the city, enter an adjudication. Property owners have until January 31st by which to resolve the violation. Um, should the violation not be resolved by the abatement date, there will be a daily fine amount of $100. Item number 59, Officer Vidalyn Christie, James I Eiler, case number for item number 58, CEDSP 2016 0 and for item number 59, case number CENUS 2016-00147. Vita Lynn Christie, Code Compliance, City of North Miami. This is a case for, I'm doing number 11 first, or 00011 first, for depreciation of surrounding properties. Um, this is, case has been cited several times before, um, <laughs> but uh, we changed our ordinance and uh, it was cited back again now in June, been delayed a couple of times and uh, properties posted, it, it's actually vacant, however we have run-ins at the property sometimes with police officers and vagrants and all the good stuff. Um, I do have pictures for the record. It is a home that is damaged. It is in terrible shape and it's a eyesore as it comes right off the I-95 and uh, we just need it to be declared a nuisance and to get the depreciation of surrounding properties in check. All right, based on the unrebutted testimony of the code enforcement officer and the evidence presented, I do find um, um, that the violation um, does exist. I hereby declare um, this property a nuisance. Um, we still don't have the, the wording and the information for declaring property a nuisance pursuant to <laughs> the code and the statute. Um. I, I did provide that to um, the previous director of code compliance. I, I will have to relay it. There has been a change in command, mm -hmm. so I will relay it again, okay. and hopefully it will be implemented soon. Yeah. All right. Okay, so the property is hereby declared a nuisance. Okay. And and so that satisfies both cases? As far as I'm concerned. Thank you. Hmm? I don't know that. Once it's, yeah, usually it's declared a nuisance, it'll come back for further Correct. proceedings for the fine. Item number 65, 
Well, that one is complied. Sorry. Complied? Yeah. Item number 67, George Ferrero, Officer Monica Fedrick, case number CERCV 2016-00070. City of North Miami Code Compliance Officer Monica Fedrick, this is a new case regarding a recreational vehicle that is parked in the residential area. The property was first uh, noticed on August 25th, 2016. Um, certified mailing for this property was mailed out on December 22nd, 2016. And the property was posted for this hearing on December 27th, 2016. I have a photo for the array. Okay. That is a current picture that was taken this morning. All right, and this is from August. Mm -hmm. That's when you had the initial mm -hmm. inspection. So it hasn't been moved. Does no. it even look like it's drivable? <laughs> it's just been parked there. Well, it was a trend on uh, two neighboring properties. That one's on 126th. There was another property on 127th with an RV. Um, but that guy, he has, um, has been evicted, so that RV is gone. So I'm hoping that they see that the, R the other RV is gone and um, see that theirs has to leave also. Okay. But for the amount of times that um, this hearing has been postponed, um, I, would, I would have thought that um, they would they have, have removed. If it was operable, it doesn't really mm. appear. To be, be off, it has a tarp on everything like a home. Right. So. All right. Based on the unrebutted testimony of the code enforcement officer, the evidence presented, I do find that the violation exists. I hereby find in favor of the city and adjudic enter an adjudication. Um, owner has until January 31st by which to resolve the violation. Um, should the violation not be resolved by the abatement date? There will be a daily fine amount of one hundred dollars. Item number sixty-nine, Jose E. Bunka, Officer Monica Fedrick, case number C E O D S two zero one six zero zero one seven one. City of North Miami Code Compliance Officer Monica Fedrick, this is a new case on a previous on a, a property that has been previously seen before. Um, for outdoor storage. The violation was first observed September 23rd, 2016. The notice to appear was mailed out on December 22nd, 2016, and the property was posted for this, <coughs> excuse me, for this hearing on December 21st, 2016 at 11:15. I'm convinced that I'm dealing with a borderline hoarder, but mm -hmm. he um, insists that he wants to keep these miscellaneous items just stored in the driveway and then wants to take a car and hide it like I can't see it. But yeah. Based on the unrebutted testimony of the code enforcement officer and the evidence presented, I find that the violation does exist. I also find good notice, given proper notice, the owners have failed to appear. I hereby find in favor of the city and enter an adjudication. Owners have until January 31st by which to resolve the violation. Thereafter, there will be a $100 um, fine should the violation not be resolved by the abatement date. Item number 39, Emilio Almonte, Officer Wayne Clark. <laughs> CEO, case number CESOD -E 2016-00023. Code compliance, Wayne Clark speaking. Testing. Uh, this this uh, case of the property not being properly sodded, um, dirt only. 
The property was posted on December 22nd, 2016 with proper notice. Um, to date, the property stood in the same condition. I'd like to submit the photos for the record showing so. Nobody has made an effort to try and get in contact with me to try and figure out uh, what to do, to how to do it. It's a cute house, but the the grounds are bare. Not a, not a one blade of grass. <laughs> Maybe the trees are eating it. It's a beautiful tree. I don't want it in my front yard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no ficus. Based on the unrebutted testimony of the code enforcement officer and the evidence presented, I find that the violation does exist. That also find good notice. Given proper notice, the owner has failed to appear. Owner has until January 31st by which to resolve the violation. Should the violation <coughs> not be resolved, um, thereafter there will be a daily fine amount of um, mm -hmm. of a hundred dollars. Um, should the violation not be resolved by the abatement date. Item, item number 74, Keisha Ilfred, Officer Monica Fedrick, case number CEPFY 2016-00428. City of North Miami Code Compliance Officer Monica Frederick. This case has been previously adjudicated um, for parking on the front lawn. The uh, notice for this hearing was mailed out December 22nd, 2016, and the property was posted on December 29th, 2016. The vehicle still remain. They have a whole circular driveway, but they choose to just park. So they do, that's what I'm looking at, right? They have, they a, driveway. have a driveway. Fully functional. They but they choose to park on the lawn. Straight ahead. Not curved. <laughs> it goes like this. <laughs> they park like this. Okay. And no one has tried to make contact with nope. you to try to figure out what to do. Okay. Based on the unrebutted testimony of the code enforcement officer and the evidence presented, I do find that the violation still exists. Um, I also find good notice. Given proper notice, the owner has failed to appear. Um, the daily fine amount of $50. I wonder why I put it so low. The daily fine amount of $50 is hereby, huh? It's true. Is hereby ratified. Item number 76, Laura R. Gutierrez, Officer Ernst Baptiste, case number CEZPU 2016-00030. Ernst Baptiste, City North Miami, Code Enforcement Officer. This is a case that was heard before. Um, it's for separating the single family, transforming into um, apartment. It's, um, Case was posted on December 20th, 2016. Today I passed by and no one uh, made contact with me and still um, the violation still exists. Do we have any recent current um, photographs of the violation? Recent pho photograph that I have, it's just the front door and they added a, a side door at the front showing the park. Okay. This is an added entrance? Yes. Is that, okay. Um, okay. How did we go about um, confirming that this is um, has been converted into 
a multifamily. How you said um, this before th that? How how were we able to? Um, I went inside and and he was separated. That room has a small kitchen and it's a small bathroom, but today um, it looked like no one's living there. It's, it was closed. I wasn't able to get access to take picture today, but the previous picture before um, because this is a case that was found guilty. Right. It was adjudicated back in um, September. Yes. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't able to get inside today to take picture again. Okay, and no one has contacted you, no, so no we're one, not? No. Okay, so it's incumbent upon them as well if there have been any um, changes. All right, so based on the unrebutted testimony of the code enforcement officer and the evidence presented, I find that the violation still exists. I also find good notice. Given proper notice, the owners have failed to appear. Um, the daily fine amount of um, $250 is hereby ratified. Item number 85, Officer Wayne Cart, Marie, Marie E. Savan, case number CEODS 2016-00154. Wayne Clark, City North Miami Code Compliance. Uh, this is case in reference to outdoor storage of all kind of items. Um, the property was posted on December 22nd, 2016, 1030 a.m. Proper notice. I did talk to uh, one of the owners today, and I told her what time the hearing started, and she assured me she would be here. Obviously a no-show. Uh, the violation still exists. Uh, efforts trying to remove the stuff at the last minute um, did no good. And I'd like to submit the photos for the record. So you know exactly what I'm talking about, and this is at the uh, mind you, this is at the front of the house. And uh, on top of that, I believe it is could be a real serious fire hazard for the Absolutely. neighboring properties. I mean, and it was it was full up more than that <laughs> as of. A couple of days ago. Oh my God. Where's the front door? Uh, beyond the, the items that's piled up all the way from the floor. Wow. Based on the unrebutted testimony of the code enforcement officer and the evidence presented, I find that the violation does exist. Um, I also find good notice. Given proper notice, the owners have failed to appear. Um, I hereby find in favor of the city enter an adjudication um, and an abatement date of January 31st. What is that? Okay. And a daily fine amount of two hundred and fifty dollars. Hopefully, that's enough uh, yeah, fire under their feet I mean, uh, to get something you done. Hold on the way. I'm a fire. Oh my God! <laughs> Item one hundred twenty-one, Stonder, Officer Shannon Sanders, case number CEPFY two zero one six zero zero seven eight three. Shanna Sanders, City of North Miami, co compliance officer. This is a case for a vehicle parked on the front lawn that was originally cited um, in December. I um, and at that time I sent the notice of violation. I reinspected November 16th. Went back again December 2nd. It was filled for the um, January uh, magistrate um, certified mailing was um, mailed out on the 22nd. Um, property was posted on the 20th. Um, I have not had any contact with anybody at this property. Um, you know, so I, I do have pictures if you would like to see. Um, the vehicle hasn't rem hasn't been moved, seemed like, you know, in a month or so, so.
You said it has not been moved in a month? No. Looks clean. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's been, um, it, the, the property was recently purchased maybe about um, two, three months ago, you know, um, and the vehicle got there maybe about a month or two ago and, you know, it hasn't really moved since then. Okay. Based on the unrebutted testimony of the code enforcement officer and the evidence presented, I find that the violation does exist. I hereby find in favor of the city and enter an adjudication. Um, owner has um, until January 31st um, by which to resolve the violation. Thereafter, there'll be a daily fine amount of $50 should the violation not be resolved by the abatement date. Item number 91. Officer Monica Frederick, case number CEBPR 2016-00081. Ms. Ms. Lair, Emil. City of North Miami Code Compliance Officer Monica Frederick. This case was previously adjudicated. It is for a building without a permit. Um, Property was posted for this notice to appear on December 29th, 2016, and it was mail certified December 22nd, 2016. This property owner insisted that he purchased the property as is with the roof um, in the conditions that you see in the picture, but I spoke to the building official and asked him to take a ride out to the property and he told me that the roof is an unfinished roof. So I told the property owner that he had to um, acquire a building permit to finish the roof, but he said that's how he brought it. He don't understand what the, what the problem is. Um, over the time, I did explain to him that he should go to the building and zoning department to speak to the building official and to obtain the permit um, he stated in which that he went over there and they don't know what he's talking about. So um, he received a couple of more notices, um, placed some phone calls, and I again let him know that per the building official, he had to obtain a permit to finish the roof. Okay. All right, based on the unrebutted testimony of the code enforcement officer and the evidence presented, I find that the violation still exists. I also find good notice, given proper notice to owners have failed to appear. The daily fine amount of $100 is hereby ratified. Item number 113, Ruth Francois, Officer Wayne Clark, case number CEMHA 2016-00013. Wayne Clark, City of North Miami Code Compliance. This is case in reference to uh, minimum housing accessory slash storage shed outdoor that's rusted out. Came by way of a complaint, a neighboring complaint. And um, the owner, as you can see, is not present. Uh, the home was left to a 20-something-year-old young man who really don't know what to do with the house. And uh, to date, it's still in the same condition. I have not um, heard from him. I have not seen him. And I'd like to submit the photos for the record. And also, the property was posted on September 22nd, 2016, in case I did not say that. <laughs> so you said it was posted in September? December. I said oh. September. I thought I heard September. Oh, pardon me. December 22nd, 2016. Okay. And uh, all we're basically wanting to do is just paint, sand it and paint the thing, but he's not going to do nothing because he's not there. This is like the third violation on the property, so. Mm. And uh, unfortunately, I mean, he's in a situation where I don't think he's working, no lights on there, none of that stuff. Yeah? Yeah, he comes and goes. You know, he's a real nice young man. He says he's going to get things done, but it never pans out. <coughs> so. Unfortunately. All right. Based on the unrebutted testimony of the code enforcement officer and the evidence presented, I do find the violation exists. I also find good notice, given proper notice to owners have failed to appear. I hereby find in favor of the city 
and intern adjudication. Um, owners have um, until January 31st by which to resolve the violation. Uh, thereafter, there will be a daily fine amount of $100 should the violation not be resolved by the abatement date. And that completes all the cases for tonight. Really? What's the name? Um, Emmanuel Morat. You gave it to me earlier for comply. And I took it back. Excuse mm -hmm. me, I just want to. <laughs> Presenting <laughs> case number. <laughs> Wait. This is a, uh, go ahead, read it the, on the record. in the Middle East, out of here. And driving. Yeah, we did. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so, well, um, for Emmanuel Morat, the mm -hmm. person was actually here, but since I have it on my agenda as complied, oh, they wow. went home. So, in that case, I would ask if we could oh, wow. table the case to February. Yeah, so we told the owner that his case was complied but it's not i didn't i did okay it was on my agenda and she came because she wanted to tell you guys some stuff okay <laughs> all right february 1st correct can somebody at least give a woman a call and tell her that her case is going to be Called again. Yeah. You're gonna okay. stop by us? Please see her. I see her every time. Okay. I'm not so sure that she's as pleased to see you, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> not sure she'll be very pleased. Okay, does that conclude the agenda yes. for tonight? Yes. All right, we're adjourned. Page four. Item number forty. It was good to see everyone.